Right, hello YouTube. Uh, it's today's date is the sixth of May, uh, two thousand seventeen. Uh, I'm still in the Premier Inn in uh, Mulgai at the moment. Just about to leave. The time is now just gone uh, nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, bags all packed. Uh, I should hope to do a bit more filming on the trail. Bye. Guys, right, the first bit of videoing from the trail. It's a nice day today. Seems to be a lot of people on the uh, trail. I've got quite a lot of people behind me. Now I can see a couple, a couple of people ahead of me as well. Uh, it's very well marked out this trail so far, but there was one point about 10 minutes ago uh, where I came out of the woods onto a, onto a little road, and there was no. Uh, there was no sign signpost any either which way I didn't know whether to go left or right. And luckily there was a local on a mountain bike who pointed myself in the right way. But so since then it's all been fine. It's all been on this path. I'll turn you around so you can see. Oh, can't do it. And I'll uh, I'll try and show you on the map when I get to the tent put up where that where that bit of road was that I couldn't can't work out which way. Well, it's only about 10 minutes since my last bit of videoing. Come up to a bit of a clearing now out from the woods. First sign of a few uh, mountains or hills there in the distance, I'm not sure the names of them. And there's lots of flying bugs around. Hopefully I won't get bitten. Walking, I've got a bit of road walking to do now. I don't think for very long. But I just stepped out from the uh, back there a little bit. There were some um, little fishing lakes. Uh, came off the, that track onto this, uh, this road. And again, I couldn't see any signposts saying West Highland Way, which way it was. So although I, I know other people have commented saying that you don't really need a GPS or a map or anything, but I think you do. You need something just to tell you left or right at a road. Uh, right, a bit more later. Right, I've just been walking along this path, and as you can see, it's a very well, you can't really see that well. You can see it goes down there quite straight, but just a little bit of a corner that goes right straight all the way along around the sides of that. If I can get my finger oh, around the side of that, it goes around there. But just back there, there was a, a crossroads in the path, uh, and I wasn't sure which way to go again. Um, luckily, I had the GPS again, but the uh, it seems to be I seem to be on the John Muir Trail. Uh, I can see the beech trees just up ahead of me, the beech tree pub. Uh, so I know I'm on the right way, but uh, it, it, it does seem that there seems to be a lot of crossroads or forks in the road uh, where you're not too sure which way to go. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I've got the GPS, I mean I've got the map as well, that, that would have uh, helped me as well. But I think I'll stop at the beech tree up here, I don't think I'm going to have anything to eat, it's only, what time is it now? It's now 11.40. Uh, uh, I set off from Mulgai, uh, was it 20 past nine? So what's that, two and two hours, uh, two hours 20 to get here. So I'm not ready for anything to eat yet. Uh, I think I'll just have some uh, a cereal bar or a cliff bar or something. And then have something when I get to uh, Dryman. Maybe I'll stop here just for a drink. Oh. Oh, 
right, I've just left the Beech Tree pub. I stopped off and had a pint of Coke. Um, didn't have any uh, anything to eat. Didn't really feel that hungry yet. Just spin around. That's the way I'm going now. And in about two and a half hours, I should be in Drymena, I think. For the last half hour now, the uh, the trail has been like this all the way. I spin around slowly. That's where I've just come through, through the gates there. This is the way I'm going. But it's very much like this uh, for the last half hour. And every now and again you come to a, a gate to go through. But there's a lot of people on this trail today. There's four people in front of me. And I know there's quite a few people behind me as well. Uh, I think some of them are just day walkers. But others have got the uh, full camping gear by the look of it. Oh, but it is hot. Luckily there's a nice breeze to uh, keep it cool. I've just walked down the road there. I think I've got quite a long uh, road section ahead. Let's come to this bridge. I don't know what the river's called, but it's looking very nice here. I've seen plenty of other people's YouTube clips uh, recorded on this bridge. But yeah, I've got to go along here and along the road again. I think this, uh, I think this road goes past the campsite. Uh, well, I won't be stopping there. But there's a campsite before Dremen. Um, and I think that, this road goes uh, past there. But I'm not just, I've just left the road. That's the road there. Come down the steps over the little bridge. I've seen this, uh, this part of, it, uh, the, of the trail in you know, a lot of other people's YouTube clips. I'll film this up to the top up here. Not far from uh, Dryman now. I think Dryman is just up there, it's just along here, there's a road that goes along the top there. Right, I'm off the West Highland Way at the moment, I'm just walking into Dryman, uh, get something to eat. The time is now two o'clock, um, get something to eat, waste a bit of time. I've got here a little bit too early really, I was, I was hoping, planning to get here but half past three, four. And uh, well I've, I've got to kill a little bit of time now. Uh, then afterwards I'll leave uh, Dryman again, get back onto West Highland Way and I can't remember the name of it but there's a forest just after, it's around the 13-14 mile mark on the uh, West Highland Way and that's where I'll hopefully be wild camping tonight.
Well, I've stopped for the night now. I've got the tent up. I can see other people have been uh, camping here. So they've got the stones there for a fire. I won't be having a fire, but uh, this is definitely where other people have been camping. Down there as well. Uh, I'm just inside the tree line when you leave uh, Dryman. Oh, hang on, I'll show you where I am. The path is just over here. That's the path, that's the path down to Dryman, there's the gate, um, you come up through that gate and that's where the trees start, the tree line starts, I'm just inside it there, just down there, just to the, the right of the gate, somebody's already pitched up for the night and I thought I was early, I, I got here at about half past three uh, and somebody was already there pitched up, so it's now ten past four and my tent, ugh, just see it well I can see it I don't know if you can see it. it's just where is it just there and that's the path I'll be taking tomorrow up that way can't remember the name of the forest <laughs> it's just past I think it's just past the uh, 12 mile mark I think I'm about 12 and a half miles right I'll try and show you on the map where oh yeah by the way this map as if I can fold it up I highly recommend getting this uh, if you're thinking about doing the West Highland Way um, very useful uh, and if you haven't got a, a GPS with the um, the route planned on it uh, this would be yeah even more useful but let's just show you where I am oh, I'm trying to do this one hand is not easy right there we go right start off in my old guy I, I le uh, left the um, Premier Inn uh, this morning, had breakfast there, I started walking off, and where I, <laughs> my first bit of difficulty with where which way the path went, left my old guy all right, but it was when I got to here, come out, follow the uh, path all the way along, next to the river, you come out there, and it, it's hard to see on this map, but you come out of, of the uh, the woods there, and there's, there's a, uh, a, a, path, uh, a a road there, well, there's no arrow saying left or right or which way to go. Luckily, that was where there was a local who, who told me that you go left down the road and then you can see another sign, that right, and you come along here. But it's just, didn't know which way to go there. Uh, that's where the local was handy. But other than that, I've got it all on the GPS. I was just, I was just going to turn on the GPS. And um, there were a few other little places as well where I, I wasn't sure. And um, looking at the GPS certainly helped me uh, make my mind up as to which way I should be going. But at the moment, uh, right, all the way up, all the way up, done all that, all the way up to Dryman, on the second bit down here, it'd be easy to show you. There's Dryman, a bit of focus. I am now, because I came up here to the main road, I've then gone into Dryman because I got up here way too early. Um, I can't remember what time it was now, about two o'clock or something. Or I was in Dryman, in the uh, in a pub there having dinner. I've now walked back along the road, back joined the um, the West Highland Way again, and gone up. About there is where the gate is, which I've shown you on the last video, and I think I'm now camping about here somewhere. So I'm about twelve and a half miles into the uh, West Highland Way. Now the reason I, I've I've stopped here for the night, as early as I am. Um, it's because I want to get to Balmaha by 12 o'clock tomorrow. I don't want to get there any earlier. So I'm hoping that if I leave where I am now, about here, about 9 o'clock, have a bit of a lie-in, <laughs> then I should get to Balmaha midday, sometime around then, um, so I can have something to eat uh, before I carry on up Af and going all the way up top there and it's just over to the next page uh, what's that that is mile, way, mile marker 26 it's about mile marker 27 um, uh, uh, after that's where I'll be wild camping again uh, Ptarmigan Lodge I think it is after the Ptarmigan Lodge um, the wild camping restriction uh, ends 
because you can't wild camp anywhere up this bit of the lot the uh, lock here that's all uh, no camping or no wild camping I should say but after Potomacan Lodge which is probably just about here somewhere it's on the 27th uh, mile marker that's when I'll be um, wild camping again